convocation, you are very much welcome. And this is the seventh matriculation of the University of Energy and Natural Resources. We shall continue to remain standing and take the opening prayer from the university chaplain, Reverend Dr. Isaac Ishmael Atta. Happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man or woman who gets understanding. For the gain from it is better than gain from silver and his profit better than gold. The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, the Lord established the heavens. By his knowledge, the thieves broke forth and the clouds dropped down the dew. My son and daughter keep sound wisdom and discretion. Let them not escape from your sight and they will be light for your sight life for your soul and adornment for your neck forever amen. amen let us pray almighty god our heavenly father whose eyes are over toward the righteous and whose ears are ever open unto their cry grant this university as a place of learning may serve as a center not only for learning but also for character formation soul awakening for service to the people of this country and the world and discipline in studies we pray that in this place love and wisdom may unite to make plain the path of wisdom and knowledge to those who come here year after year to pursue various disciplines particularly those we are enrolling in this university today to begin the academic studies we beseech you lord to create in them the desire for true knowledge that will make them committed to the cause of your kingdom and become reliable citizens of our nation. Creating them the true spirit of patriotism for service, of dedication towards the development of Ghana. Grant them that those who serve in the various departments of the various faculties, students and other workers may all serve with pure minds upright purpose and steadfast endeavor to learn and to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us respectfully remain standing for the Guardians. It's at page 86 of the Matriculation brochure, page 56. Page 56. God, Shall we please resume our seats? I now have the singular privilege to introduce to us the acting registrar, Mr. Ben Apiakubi, to continue with the program. Thank you very much and welcome, registrar. Today is an important ceremony in the university. We have two important ceremonies, matriculation and congregation. And today is a day for all first year students. They are not yet students. It is after this ceremony that they will become students. So 
we are going to administer the matriculation of to all first year students. If you are not here after this ceremony, you are not a student. You've been told as the rehearsals. If you are not here, you are out. Go we'll write you a letter that go and come next year. Dean, School of Natural Resources, please step forward. Will first year undergraduate students of the School of Natural Resources please stand up for the administration of the matriculation oath? School of Natural Resources. That's all right. That's all right. We know the reason why you are laughing. That's all right. Right. So, listen to me carefully, students of School of Natural Resources. Do you solemnly promise to observe the regulations of this university and to obey those to whom your obedience is required, to study diligently, to seek the truth, and to promote the good of the university? In so far as in you lies. Right, so you so keep standing. I humbly invite the Vice Chancellor to administer the oath. You have satisfied the entrance requirements of this university and by the powers conferred on me as the Vice Chancellor of this university. I formally admit you as junior members in Statue Populare of the University of Energy and Natural Resources, Sunyane. Congratulations. Thank you. May you be seated, please. Dean, School of Sciences, please step forward. Will first year undergraduate students of the School of Sciences please stand up for the administration of the matriculation oath? So kindly listen to me, please, School of Sciences students. Do you solemnly promise to observe the regulations of this university and to obey those to whom your obedience is required? to study diligently, to seek the truth, and to promote the good of the university insofar as in you lies. I do. I do. I do. May I humbly invite the Vice Chancellor to administer the oath. You have satisfied the entrance requirements of this university and by the powers conferred on me as the Vice Chancellor of this university. I formally admit you as junior members in Statue Popular of the University of Energy and Natural Resources, Sunyane. Congratulations. Thank you, Vinci. Please may you be seated. Dean, School of Engineering, please step forward. Will first year undergraduate students of the School of Engineering please stand up for the administration of the matriculation oath? Right. Do you solemnly promise to observe the regulations of this university and to obey those to whom your obedience is required, to study diligently, to seek the truth, and to promote the good of the university? of the university in so far as in you lies. May I humbly invite the Vice Chancellor to administer the oath. You have satisfied the entry 
entrance requirements of this university and by the powers conferred on me as a vice chancellor of this university. I formally admit you as junior members in Statue Popular of the University of Energy and Natural Resources. Sunyane, congratulations. Please may you be seated. Acting Dean, School of Agriculture and Technology and School of Geosciences. Please step forward. Will first year undergraduate students of the School of Agriculture and Technology and School of Geosciences please stand up for the administration of the matriculation of Do you solemnly promise to observe the regulations of this university and to obey those to whom your obedience is required, to study diligently, to seek the truth, and to promote the good of the university, and so far as in you lies? May I humbly invite the Vice Chancellor to administer the oath. You have satisfied the entrance requirements of this university and by the powers conferred on me as the vice chancellor of this university. I formally admit you as junior members in Statue Popular of the University of Energy and Natural Resources. Sunyane, congratulations. Thank you, VC. Please be seated. Dean, School of Management Sciences and Law, please step forward. Will first year undergraduate students of the School of Management Sciences and Law please stand up for the administration of the matriculation of? Do you solemnly promise to observe the regulations of this university and to obey those to whom your obedience is required, to study diligently, to seek the truth, and to promote the good of the university, insofar as in you lies? May I humbly invite the Vice Chancellor to administer the oath. You have satisfy the entrance requirements of this university and by the powers conferred on me as the vice chancellor of this university. I formally admit you as junior members in Statue Populari of the University of Energy and Natural Resources. Sunyane, congratulations. Thank you, vice chancellor. Please be seated. Thank you. Acting Dean, School of Graduate Studies. At the same time, the Pro Vice Chancellor. Will first year postgraduate students please stand up for the administration of the matriculation oath? Do you solemnly promise to observe the regulations of this university, to obey those to whom your obedience is required, to study diligently, to seek the truth? and to promote the good of the university insofar so far as in you lies. You have satisfied the entrance requirements of this university and by the powers conferred on me as the vice chancellor of this university. I formally ad admit you as junior members in Statue Popular of the University of Energy and Natural Resources, Sunyane. Congratulations. Thank you. Vice Chancellor, please be seated. Now you have taken the matriculation of you are a former student of the university. VC will tell you more about that. So if you are not here, we know what we have done. And obviously, if you were you were you were supposed to be here and you are not here, we will ask you to go and come next year. We shall sing standing 
the university song. The song was composed by the Foundation Vice Chancellor, Professor Mrs. A.C. Ewa. It's now my honor to invite the cultural troupe of the African Studies Session of the Department of Languages and General Studies. So, this is cultural troupe brewed in the African Studies Session of the University. Thank <laughs> you. 
thank you. Thank you for a wonderful display here. Thank you, the African Studies Session of the Languages, Languages and General Studies. And I can assure you that next year we will receive students from the US to come and learn African Studies here. All right. Now, we have to all keep quiet and listen to me. At this stage, it's very, very important. We have to hear something from the chief executive of the university. That is the vice chancellor in the person of Professor Harrison Kwame Dapa. Respectfully, I invite the vice chancellor to deliver his address. Thank you very much, Acting Registrar, the Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Emmanuel Opuni Frempong, Acting Registrar, Mr. Benjamin Apiakubi, the Director of Finance, Mr. Abdullah Banan, Acting Director of Works, Sefas uh, Achamfo, Deans, Heads of Departments, Members of Convocation, Staff and Students, our cherished freshmen and women, parents and guardians who are here, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Governing Council and the Academic Board of the University, I welcome you all to this August occasion that marks the official entry of every student into higher education or higher institutions of learning. It is significant because it's a statutory gathering to formally admit deserving and qualified candidates who are fortunate to be offered admission into this institution. To our freshmen and women, your university experience officially starts today, especially with the undergraduates. For the postgraduates, they have already tested university experience, but for undergraduates, you are starting today. Let me begin by congratulating you on your achievements that have led you to be here. For most of you, during the next two or four years, you'll be part of this university, tasked to train critical skills needed for the energy and natural resources sectors of the country and beyond. This university is a specialized institution, staffed with competent lecturers, scholars, and researchers, faculty and fellow students, all of whom have come to the University of Energy and Natural Resources to learn and to create new knowledge. In this university, you will have the opportunity to deepen your education expand your understanding of society and the world and to acquire the requisite knowledge and skills that will define your career aspirations. I want to recognize all parents and guardians who are here today to witness this historic event. Choosing University of Energy and Natural Resources as an institution of first choice out of the numerous universities in the country, is a clear confirmation of the confidence you have reposed in us due to our growing reputation in academic excellence. My dear students and parents, I would like to assure you all in unequivocal terms that we are determined to uphold, protect, and ensure the peaceful stay of your students or your wards in this university. A little bit about the history of the university. 
for the sake of our freshmen and women. This university was established by an act of parliament, Act 830, in 2011, as an autonomous university to train critical minds needed for energy and natural resource sectors of the economy. The establishment of the university was in fulfillment of the government's vision to set up a public university in each region in Ghana. The government then handed over the fa facilities of the then Faculty of Forest Resources Technology of Ken USD in Sunyane to UNEL as its nucleus campus. The university operates, the university which operates a multi campus system, admitted 154 pioneer students in 2012 and has since not looked back. These pioneering students, the second and third batches of our students have graduated and are already doing well in industry and also na national service, especially the third batch, which we graduated last August. The institution that began with 154 students with three programs has grown in leaps and bounds with the past, within the past seven years and is currently running about 38 academic programs. Matriculation ceremony. The main objective of this exercise, as we are witnessing today, is to acquaint you with the fundamental principles, norms, and culture of our institution. These core values have projected the image of this university as a center of learning and character molding of our students. As per university traditions, first year students are required to take the matriculation oath. This year's ceremony is the seventh in the life of UNEL since 2012. The oath signifies your formal admission into the university as junior members in status populari, in other words, junior members of students' status. As fresh students, it is expected that you will abide by the rules and regulations of this institution and participate in all activities of the university. You must be fully committed to your studies and justify your selection out of the thousands who wanted to come and study in this noble institution. The ceremony is significant for the fact that it provides the opportunity for you, young men and women, to pledge your allegiance to the authority of the university through the administration of the matriculation of, and you will in due course be expected to sign a bond of good behavior and accept the authority of the vice chancellor, the chief disciplinarian of the university, as well as all other officers of the university in whom authority has been vested. You will also, by the same token, be expected to contribute your quota to enhance the university's image wherever you find yourself and ensure that you do not bring the name of the university into disrepute. In pledging to be of good behavior, freshmen and women are committing themselves to be worthy ambassadors of the university. We need the support, the loyalty, the commitment and cooperation of both students and staff to make this university a world-class institution of higher learning. I also appeal to those of you who are good in sports to identify yourselves with the sports directorate of the university. This is because sports, along with academic resource, in the all-round development of students, results in an all-round development of the students. The university is working hard towards providing facilities that will help in developing sports and recreational activities on the campuses. The university management will work assiduously to improve these facilities so that our students will win prizes during competition. Our dear cherished students, at this Chandra, I urge you to reveal your talents and support the university during sporting competition. Some achievements of this university 
Dear students, your presence here is a demonstration of our ambition and fortitude to become an important person in the future. I wish to assure you that you have made the right decision by opting to hone and shape your future at UNEL. Let me take this opportunity to highlight some few achievements of the university within its short period of existence. Currently, the university is undertaking a 1.2 million Danida grant in partnership with four other institutions to undertake studies in Lake Bosmantri. This research is led by one of our own, Dr. Peter Sanfo of the Department of Fisheries and Water Resources. The project is under the goal two of the Sustainable Development Goals, envisioning that the world could end hunger, achieve food security, improve nutrition, and promote agricultural, uh, sustainable agriculture among others. In the area of social, solar energy, UNEL has been recognized as a leader by the Energy Commission and selected our university as the training center for solar PV installers in the design, installation, and maintenance of off-grid and grid tied solar PV system. Freshmen and women, these are some but a few of the achievements chopped within our short existence. This clearly indicates that this university is an institution that is poised to become a leader in the educational enterprise through active research, teaching, and innovation. I therefore welcome you to a university where we train you to impact on the society with integrity and serve with excellence. Our motto is integrity, knowledge, and impact. Once again, I congratulate you for choosing to study at UNEL to enable you to achieve your dream of becoming a skilled professional. From this day forward, you shall be ambassadors of this university. I'm certainly hopeful that you will associate your name in confidence with UNEL and say it with pride. As you begin your studies, I assure you that you are guaranteed of a friendly academic environment where both teaching and non-teaching staff are dedicated to preparing you for work in the future. The university has been working to achieve its mandate through a series of innovative and transformational processes in teaching and learning, among others, to turn our graduates with unquestionable output in the world of work. Ladies and gentlemen, in this century, knowledge generation is not confined to only the universities, but includes industries and other institutions. Therefore, it is important for UNEL to establish linkages with institutions and collaborate with other bodies to generate and share knowledge to solve the developmental challenges in our dear country. In line with this, UNEL has signed a number of agreements, memorandum of agreements and memorandums of understanding with institutions to help us in this wise. We have a memorandum of understanding with the Global Change Research Institute of the Czech Academy of Sciences to establish an international greenhouse and global climate change research station in Ghana. There is also an agreement of understanding with Hohai University, Nanjing, China, to develop academic exchange and cooperate in teaching and research in the federance of the advancement and dissemination of learning. The university will continue to engage in partner institutions and other stakeholders to provide platforms for students and staff to exchange ideas and generate knowledge for the mutual benefit of industry the university, and Ghana in general. Freshmen and women, the programs you are enro enrolled in are unique and are designed to ensure that you graduate from this university, you will be in a position to compete globally. Apart from your area of specialization, you would be exposed to a series of courses in French, 
The essence of it is to make you proficient in the language and give you a competitive edge over others. Please attach importance to the study of French as most people have lost out on international jobs due to their inability to speak in basic French. UNEL is the only institution where students learn French up to the third year. Some statistics on our admission for 2018 and 2019 academic year. This year, the university admitted a total of 2,637 students, bringing the total student population to 6,501. Out of these, those admitted, 2,117 were undergraduate students, and out of those, 655 representing 31 percent are females, while 1,462 representing 69 percent are males. Ladies and gentlemen, in the area of postgraduate admissions, a total of 224 applicants were offered admission into our Master of Philosophy and Doctoral programs. Out of the number, 26 represent 12% were females, while 199 representing 88% were males. A total of 296 were also admitted into the weekend programs. Out of the number, 60, representing 20%, were females, whilst 236 representing 80% were males. It is our goal to increase total postgraduate enrollment into the university to about 15% of our total student population in the near future. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the university is poised to provide access to university education to as many qualified applicants as possible, but we are constrained due to inadequate academic and residential facilities for staff and students. Sadly, a number of projects which could have put a total of 24 lecture theaters at the disposal of the university have come to a standstill. These include a two-story lecture block under construction by Mrs. Asif Limited, a four-story lecture block by Renekan Limited, the south wing of a 1,600 hostel capacity under construction by Mr. Asumadu and the construction of permanent facilities at the Doma Ahinkro campus to house the School of Agriculture and Technology are also at a standstill. Ladies and gentlemen, the completion of these facilities on our campuses will go a long way to address both residential and classroom accommodation challenges facing our students and help provide a much learning experiences for our students. It is our hope that the government and the GET Fund would quickly come to our aid to address some of these challenges. In spite of dwindling resources, the university has managed to stay afloat to deliver on its mandate. We will continue to be prudent with and make judicious use of our meager resources. It is for this reason that the university has acquired recently a thousand classroom furniture that is table and chairs to help ease seating challenges in our lecture halls to create an enabling environment for academic work. My advice to our freshmen and women. My dear students, as you begin your studies, I want to exhort you that in your name, let the sky be your limit in terms of exercising the mind. You need to continually remember that the distance between today's ceremony and convocation ceremony or congregation ceremony is quite wide and it's important that the journey ends successfully. Some of you is two years, some of you is four years. So for postgraduate is two years for masters and three years for PhD. For this to happen, you need to be regular in attendance at lectures, carry out all your assignments, 
shunning deviant behaviors and other vices that can expose you and others to danger. This university has zero tolerance for occultism, any form of hooliganism and corruption. I need to further advise you to show respect to your colleagues and staff in the university to make your stay fruitful and productive. Be modest and decent in your dressing and approach to issues. I wish to inform all of you that like any organized community, there are rules and regulations that must be obeyed and the university is no exception. I'm certain that during your orientation, you were informed about some of these rules and regulations in the student handbook. I listen very carefully. You are to study and meditate on all the contents in the handbook to thoroughly acquaint yourselves with all the rules and regulations of the university that will guide your stay on campus. For the sake of emphasis, I would like all of you to remember these. There are three crimes or offenses which when committed in this university and you are found culpable will result in outright dismissal with possible prosecution by the police. These are one, cheating during examinations. Two, stealing. Three, physical and sexual assault. If you are found culpable with these three, there are other offenses, but for these three, there is no way out. Outright dismissal. If you forget anything I've told you this morning, please do not forget this three. Because nobody, and I mean nobody, will be able to plead or speak on your behalf when that happens. Remember that in the university, you would have to sometimes study in a group. You have to be, if you have not formed your study groups already, or you do not belong to any group, by all means, make sure you belong to one or you form one. I am quite optimistic that as you pursue your programs, you will remember that you need to integrate academic excellence with other aspects of your life, especially moral uprightness and spiritual upliftment. Your studies here will not be complete without these components. As I conclude my speech, I would like to remind all matriculants that your primary aim of coming to this university is to go through your chosen academic program and graduate with flying colors. You should therefore begin with the end in mind. You are adults now, especially for our undergraduate programs, and you shall treat, you shall be treated as such. There is no more rising bell, no more prep, no more dining time. Enjoy your freedom, but please use it responsibly. Being in the university is special for many different reasons. For many of you, this is the first time in your life that you'll be truly living independently. This is an opportunity to grow and learn as a person and to discover who you are. You have been prepared well for this day by your parents, family, and teachers. Many of your loved ones have sacrificed so much so that you may enjoy the privilege of a university education. Honor their sacrifices by behaving responsibly and make the most of this extraordinary opportunity given to you. Make time for social activities like scholarly lectures, sports and religious activities if you are so inclined. But do not allow these to make you lose sight of the main reason you are here. Life in the university can be very exciting, both intellectually and socially. The university's counseling units and other centers are available to offer assistance if required. Please ensure that you have any challenges, let these centers So we have a 
guidance and counsel, we have a counseling unit. It is in the senior highs that we have guidance and counsel. It is here, even though it's guided by wisdom, it's a counseling uh, unit. Please make use of that. Do make time to read notices. Listen to Radio Greener FM, 95.9 FM, which is the university's radio station. And regularly visit the university's website www.uenr.edu.gh Since important information will be communicated to you through this media. Do not use the new freedom to get involved in promiscuous activities. They will definitely ruin your life. Above all, get closer to God and seek divine wisdom and protection through prayer. God help you to accomplish what he has destined you to be. May you be given divine wisdom and knowledge to create, innovate, and make your inventions. On behalf of the count, the governing council and academic board of the university, and on my own behalf, I congratulate all the matriculating students and wish you a productive and fruitful stay at your name. I pray that the almighty God over all of you, prosper you, and make you all a source of pride to your families, to the states, to the country, and to humanity. Thank you, and may God bless us all. Shall we please put our hands together once again for the crisis? What a wonderful exhortation. There is no sexual or physical assault, cheating in the examinations. That one is outright. VC also said that make time for other social activities, religious groups and others. The Bible says that pray unceasingly. But don't go and pray 24 hours, seven days in a week without study. That one, God will not even let you pass the exams. Let us see how we manage these two things. Thank you, Vice Chancellor, for your wonderful address. On this note, I will invite the cultural troop again to give us something to take home. For about five minutes.
I realized that Nananketia was looking for an escape route. <laughs> All right, thank you, uh, Mr. Kwabina uh, Safo. Kodjo Safo. Thank you for your tenacity of purpose for bringing this cultural troupe into reality. At this juncture, I will invite Glory Zone Media House to do a presentation to the Vice Chancellor. Thank you for your presentation, Glory Zone Media House. I invite Reverend Dr. Felix Opare to give us a closing prayer. The Vice Chancellor and all protocols observed. Please let's be on our feet as we pray. Matriculants, before we pray, there's one thing that sends students home. Nobody will send you home. You will go home without knowing why if you don't make at least one point on your GPA by the end of the first year. It means if you don't study, automatically you just dismiss yourself. So apply yourself diligently to your studies. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful day. We thank you for the lives of these young men and women that you have brought to the University of Energy and Natural Resources. We thank you for the privilege they have been given to better themselves so that they will be productive citizens of this nation. We're praying for each and every one of them that your hand of protection will be over them whilst they are here. We're asking for wisdom and prudence for them to know how to order their ways productively so that they will excel and succeed in their courses of study. We pray for parents and guardians that you will continue to bless them and give them the resources that they need to help these young people. Some of them are here and they are sponsoring themselves. I pray, Father, that you will continue to be the great provider for them. Lord, we are praying that if any of them are coming here with any bad attitudes, behavior that is unwholesome, may the time they spend here be a time of reformation and growth so that they don't only live here with academic degrees, but they live here as men and women who are useful and can fit in every part of our society. We pray for staff and students of this university. We pray for every person associated with this university. In this academic year, may your hand of protection be ours. Lord, watch over each and every one of us and keep us safe from sicknesses, from accidents, diseases, anything that would derail our study and our work. Please let it be removed from us. We come against any premature death among our students and staff. Lord, grant all of us life full of health so that we'll be able to do the work you have put us here to do on this earth. And now may the Lord watch over you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. May he order your steps so that you do not fall into any trap that is set for you. May the Lord remove every obstacle out of your way. And may he give you a, a heart of wisdom so that you'll be able to make right choices in your life. By the time Jesus Christ returns, you will come and find you men and women who are waiting patiently and prepared for his coming. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We shall respectfully remain standing while convocation recesses.